So I said I was gonna do, um, a killer tips video kind of thing. So this is the video that I'm going to do it in. We're gonna play the four original killers, not Krampus, because only the backers right now can play Krampus. Everyone else will be able to play Krampus when t season two drops, which is good because then we can test it out for you guys. But I'll have a separate video just for Krampus for you guys that once I get some perks on them and things like that. We're gonna go through the four original killers. I'm gonna tell you like their abilities and things like that. And then I'm gonna play each individual killer and show you like what he does, what he's good at and things like that. So we got a uh, scientist, which his two abilities he gets to throw a dome, and then depending on your perks and augments, the dome does different things. And then his second ability is he has a radar. So it pings on the radar the uh, general area where survivors are if they're hiding and things like that. So the uh, loadout that I have is zone target, closing fate, upgraded accelerator, and transient dome. And I usually go ahead, I don't even have the thing for it but I usually run the one that makes it one extra switch but I guess we'll just run optics but that's my loadout that I run so I have a red dome it doesn't trap people in it but if they go through the dome then it hurts them for two or two ticks then we got fisherman so his two abilities is he places a sonar on the ground which pings the area and will outline survivors in an aura if it pings the survivor. And he also is able to shoot a harpoon gun up to three ticks of damage depending on how much you've charged it. I have quick load, so, cause I like to use the harpoon a lot, so quick load allows me to, to reload the gun or the harpoon faster and ADS is shorter. And also I have overload, battery pack, and sonar awareness. And then usually I run optics on them, but it really depends. I, I run flip them also, which is what I usually run on scientists. Then we got Stitches, so his two gimmicks is he can throw a box, if they go inside of the little bubble of the box, it'll show their aura. You can change the box to be able to throw the box and damage survivors for one tick of damage. And then also his other gimmick is he jumps high. And then you can also change it so that he can double jump, he can jump off of walls, and he can double jump, he can jump off of walls, he can do a ground and pound, which is pretty cool too. And then his other gimmick, which only uh, Stitches has, is he can disable his dark sight and get true sight, which gives him the ability to uh, have a 45 degree field of view that highlights survivors for two seconds, has a 20 second cooldown, which it can do it within 20 meters. And then you can put augments on, which increases true sight range. And also there's another one that uh, increases true sight highlight duration and also field of view up to 90 degrees. And then we got Sledge as the last killer. As you may see, it looks like Swifter, because it is, but I call him Beefy Puppers. Sledge's two uh, gimmicks is he can throw knives at people. When you throw a knife, you don't slow down when you throw it, so it's nice to just toss knives at him every single time you can. And then he also has an ability called Ban Hammer, which brings his hammer down from the sky, and it does an AoE effect, knocks the survivor back or to the sides or forward, depending on where you hit them on the, the circle. But what I have is when I hit survivors with a ban hammer, they lose 50% of their stamina. I also have rush, uh, increases dark sight speed, uh, no escape, and swiper. And I usually run optics on him because he's one of the ki one of the two killers that don't have a way to track survivors. Stitches and sledge don't have a way to track survivors, so you kind of want to have optics on them or some way to track survivors. So these are the the killers that we're going to be using. We're not using Krampus. We'll do that in a separate video. Um, we're going to play each of the killers. And I'm going to show you kind of how I play them. And also show you little tips and tricks and like hiding spots and things like that of where survivors can hide. So, I'm hoping we get the new map so I can show you the new map also. Let's get into the games. So since we got Slaughterhouse, my favorite character to play in this map is definitely Stitches. So we're going to start with Stitches. And he's also my favorite character out of all the characters. So, And the reason why I like playing Stitches in Slaughterhouse is because I can jump on the roofs. You can travel the map very easily with stitches you can cut people off and they won't even know so uh, what i usually do i go to this one in slaughterhouse because there's usually two people that go to this one he's inside so you want to try and throw your boxes down as much as possible i kind of threw that box in it oh that's an actually decent spot for the box So what I like to do here, is I like to go across. 
and just smack them. You got yourself stuck there. I kind of have to get you out. But you got yourself stuck there. <laughs> I'll, I'll let them get the save. But that spot probably uh, that might need a little fixing. Which is good that I'm showing it right now. Because then the devs watch. So then they might be like, yeah, we might need to fix that. So as you can see, with stitches, I like to... Um, jump around a lot I hit him he was waiting for me to try and smack so that he can use his sprint so we're gonna jump across the roof I knew he was going to try and shoot when I turned my back. Why did it stop me running? Oh, he had two. He's got um, lucky draw. All right, I'm going to leave him because I have to get pressure. And if I don't pressure, I just hurt someone. So the perk that I have makes it so that I can see auras. I actually have no idea where this guy went. Let's me see auras when I kill someone. I'm going to throw a thing back here. Make sure you use your boxes as much as you can. He stopped moving. I can't. He's hiding. Uh, it's letting me run. Been nice. There's another guy to my left. I can hear him running. Oh, I missed. Probably a waste of time chasing this guy, but I should be able to get him. He went inside the thing thinking that I'm stupid, but you know. <laughs> He went back up this way. Nice. Now I see his aura. So what I'm going to do, I can't jump up that high. Alright. He was mind gaming that scaffold, so I'm just going to go to this guy. There's a guy. Oh, they got past. I got to place more boxes. I keep forgetting. He closed that door, which is bad for them. They sh he shouldn't have closed that door out of every door to close. All right, I'm going to go make sure he doesn't get this one. They blocked it off so people can't get up there, but it just made it so I can't jump through. Everyone should be one hit. Maybe not this guy. No, he's the only guy that's not one hit.
Then we chase them down. And there he is. Let's break the scaffold. One there, one here. He wasted his gas also, which I'm pretty sure he picked that up, so there's a gas wasted. And then we're gonna put pressure on this guy. He's gone, his aura thing is gone. Oh no, it's right there. They're both over here, he's fucked. Oh, he got him. Oh, come on. You shouldn't be able to get it while you're invisible. Ooh. There was a motion sensor there. Yeah. Stitches is very good at mind gaming scaffolds, so if they try to sit inside of it, you can pretend to jump over it and just stay on the same side and smack them. Especially if Stitches has the, um... Especially if Stitches has the, uh, the ability to, uh, uh, slide under scaffolding. Then he's really good against scaffolds. He just slides right under it, and they don't even, they can't do anything about it. They can't mind game these scaffolds at all when he had the sliding ability. So that's basically Stitches on Slaughterhouse. I'm hoping I can get at least one of each map. That's what I'm hoping for. If I can get one of each map, I'll be happy. I would, yeah, I'd most likely play Stitches or Fisherman on this map. Fisherman helps you find people because there's a lot of hiding spots. You can also play Scientist. You can play anyone on any map. I'm just showing you like the my take on the best hunters on each of the maps. So I'm gonna go over here since there's two people over here. I wanna stop. I'd rather stop two people than one person. We're gonna place down the sonar right here. It's gonna break the scaffolds we'll go ahead and break this one real quick You're stuck with he's me. bringing gas so I'm gonna go and get this guy place this right here make sure you place down your sonars that's the biggest part Make sure you use your um, your harpoons as much as you possibly can, because they are very good. Trust me. Especially when you have the uh, the reload speed. It's really fucking good. So this person is hiding out right back here through a gas. I'm going to place this just so I know exactly where he is. He ran away that way. But that scaffolding is gonna break. I see you. So we place as much pressure as we possibly can. We're gonna bring out. Hey, just you and me, son. He used um. He used um. A med kit. I hit him. It should have stopped it, but you know. The guy here, we might as well take him out. Oh, bullshit.
keeping an eye out around me too. He just ran through the gas. Basically, he wasted that. He ran in. He ran into a corner and fucked himself over. Tried a molecularizer, which didn't work because I had him. Alright, we got him. All you gotta do is make sure you use your, um... Your ability as much as you can. There's a guy here. I just, I know this he's, I know he's here. One I'll place this. Hey, just you and me, son. Alright, I have him one hit, so that's okay. They're gonna go this way. God damn it. Well, you wasted a smoke, so that's okay. Get out here and die like a man. I hear him walking. I'm gonna place this here. He has the um the augment which makes his smoke last longer. Hunting's hell on my knees. If you can't find someone, don't don't stay on them. It's a waste of time. I'm gonna place this here. Maybe we can find out where this guy is. Place this right here. Break the scaffolding and be able to uh, stop some loops. They're in the back. Both of them. This baby's got life on the The other guy's back here somewhere. Unless he ran off. No, he's still back here. Makes me feel alive again. Always check hideables. If you see the uh, little the little shadow, whatever the hell you want to call that thing. If you see that around and you can't seem to find the person, just check the hideables. Trust me, it'll, it'll help. I'm going to place this right here to stop these uh, scaffolds. Go back in my... I heard someone behind me. Get out here and die like a man. Oh, you fucked up by throwing that. You both could have been invisible. Got him. Got him. And you, when you're blind, you can still hit perfectly fine. There's no, like, slowness to it. You still move the exact same speed. So you gotta make sure you go ahead and... If you can, hit. I'm watching. I still hit him! Oh man! You guys gotta stop trying to go up in these places. Gun or not, you're still mine. All right. Try to find them. It's too late to go home. Uh, now Woo! 
Boy, I'm too fucking sick with this fucking harpoon. There's a guy here still. I'm too fucking sick with this damn harpoon. Where is he at? He's over in the back. I see him. He can't go anywhere. He's stuck. He was stuck back there. He couldn't go anywhere. The other guy got the three saves, so that's why he's back alive. He's back over here. I'm going to throw this right here so I can kind of see if he runs past it. I got him with a one hit. If you just stand perfectly still, <laughs> I'll make sure you get an open basket. Bad idea to go into there when I can know when I know where you are. They're not gonna get this. There's a minute and 20 seconds left. It's literally impossible for them to get this. No what you'll do. I didn't hit him. And I missed him. It's too late to go home. Uh, now you're stuck with me. Yeah, I know how to get over there too, buddy. Don't worry. The other guy ran that way. Die like a man. Hi. There we go. All done. Use your harpoon gun. Trust me. You won't regret it. I know I'm just a beast with it. I know. I know. But you won't regret it. So for Wonder World, I usually go with Scientist. He's able to trap people. I don't have the traps. I actually have um, zone target, closing fate, which makes the dome red and they can go through it, which makes them injured if they go through it. Upgraded accelerator, transient dome, and optics. And then for the last map, the new map, we're gonna use sledge because it's an open map and I feel like he is he works better in the new map than any other map. But like I said, my opinion, you may have a different opinion and Maybe you work scientists better in um, in the swamp map, whatever the fucking map is called. I keep forgetting. Oh, what a shock. So right now she can't leave the dome unless she's gonna get injured, which she did. She kind of fucked up. He ran off. That guy's across the map. He went over that way. Okay. Got this guy here. Get a free hit on him. See if we can get the dome. In Actually, I'm going to save my dome since I only need to hit him one more time. And I'll, I'll end up getting this hit. The other guy's going to go for the save. But I'm pretty sure he's hiding in like a fucking dumpster or some shit. Or like... 
in that spot. I don't know why when I turn around, I don't block the, uh, I'm gonna let him save. I don't block the flash from hitting me. That should kind of be a thing, but you know. I'm gonna go around and break these scaffolds while he saves. One of them's over here somewhere. I just want to try something with you. Things hiding is gonna stop me from knowing where he is. I can see your head, buddy. You will be my experiment. So I have 17 seconds before I can dome him. So I might as well just go run him, run his ass down, and try and kill him. Get out of here, dear. I'm just a vampire. Hmm. I, I thought he turned. Something about it. Um, there's a guy here, right here. Hi. I'm not gonna even bother with him. He's gonna get the save before I can do it. Whoa, there's a guy here. There's still a guy here. No, there's not. I'm gonna break these. Going on to this extractor. I hear someone. This guy is one hit, so. He's kinda dead. I'm gonna break this extract or this uh this uh scaffold. As long as you have pressure, breaking a scaffold isn't wasting your time. There's a guy in the back, and there's a guy over by the extractor. So I'm gonna throw this right here. That guy's hiding. I can hear him you in here. Hide, but you can't okay. This is kind of done. There's nothing they can do. They won't even get the rest of the uh, darkness before they die. This guy's just chilling in here. All right. I guess I'll end it. Oh, he's going for the farther guy. Oh, no, he's right here. I, I, I honestly, when I'm playing killer, I don't lose a lot because I kind of know where most of the um, the hiding spots are. I know kind of how survivors usually play. I, re I really only lose against, uh, like, survivor friend, like, teams. So. But we got to get the last map so that we can go ahead and play Sledge on them. But, yeah, in my opinion, this map is better suited for Sledge because you can go ahead and hit... More knives, you can ban hammer and they don't have anything to like hide under or try to hide behind and things like that. And um, this is probably one of the worst maps for stitches because it's too wide open. There's nothing to really hide. So you can't really utilize the fact that stitches is a is a, more of a, a stealth based hunter. So we're going to go through. We have a uh, dark rush, which allows me to dark sight faster. I move faster in dark sight by 20%. It literally might be a spot that is just very um, hard to get to. I'm not even going to deal with this guy. I'll wait. I'll go push other people off. Don't spend too much time on, uh, on one person. Go ahead and smack this person. All right. Trying to juke me. Almost worked. 
That guy's still chilling over there. We're gonna go push this guy off. He's moving right now. So I might be able to see him. We're actually gonna go move ourselves towards here again. Because I think this guy might be going. There he is. I took away some stamina. What went? Well, I have swipers, so when I hit them with my knife, it takes away 10% of their stamina. I don't even know if I can get over that. I need to put more pressure before the end of the game. I need to get more kills. I see this guy. I see both of them. We're going to go ahead and hit this guy. Wasted his stamina, which is good for me. That's stupid. The knife just does that. Oh! Oh, the snipe! Oh, baby! I took away 10% of his stamina. One person is one hit, unless I hit him with a knife, but I'm going to try not to. This person should be right here. He's inside. I'm getting stuck. Okay. I have a feeling they're upstairs or they're right there. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. That's where you were hiding. Bro, why do I get stuck there? All right. I don't know how he was healing himself even though I still hit him. Oh, that wasn't that was the wrong guy. Okay. The other guy found a med kit. That's how he healed himself. Oh, okay. So you're th you're going up here, huh? Ah, another spot I got to get the devs to change. Nice. Nice. At least you showed me, so now I can get them to fix that. go after this guy Ooh, sneaky sneaky he's around here still not in the grass He was in the grass, you sneaky little shit! Ah, oh, fuck. I missed. Woo! He, he fucking tried. He almost got it, too. The other guy should be going for the save. Or he's over here still. One of the two. Oh, he's over here. Nice. He 
You better hurry up. I might actually leave him to go get the save, but I kind of want to get a knife. Oh, hiding. You better hurry up. Go save him. There you go. They don't make it to the end game, then they don't make it to the end game. I I let them save. Both of these guys are here. Come on. Oh, he tried. I have eight kills right now. So this is going real good for me. I could end it. I don't even think they're going to get to the end game. Maybe you never know. I have a feeling someone might be sitting here on this. I fucking knew it. I could hear it. There was like... Ch -ch 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 -ch. You can... You have a lot of sound cues for certain things. I just saw him in... Weird. Die. Well, that's the end of that. That's basically, you, you kind of, certain, you have to use the killer's abilities. Use it as much as possible, especially Sledge. He has throwing knives. They do one tick each, but you don't slow down when you throw them. You can throw a throwing knife, you can hit them, and then you can try to banhammer them, and then that's a full, that's a full kill. But this has been my little, I guess you, it, they're tips. I showed you how I play them. I showed you what maps I like to use them in. I showed you my builds that I like to use. I hope you guys enjoyed. I might do a more advanced guide for each individual killer. Same thing with survivors. And we still have to play um, Krampus. So I'm going to kind of play more of him and then show you how to play him. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. No Girl, you don't know about me. So me. get off my fucking D. My Born D. and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see.